I love getting to look at timber where you got a good view. I just bought a little job of walnut down here at La Russell, Missouri. Um, kind of up here on a hill. Some walnut timber naturally, a little bit of oak mixed in, but the spring river's right down there, kind of under that bluff. And man, just talk about a beautiful fall day. Temperature 77 degrees, a light north wind. It just it's just a beautiful day to get a work outside and be outside. I, I love getting to cut timber with a view. I mean, that is that is beautiful. Can't wait to get started on this job. I I told them I'd be down here Monday. It's just a quick deal. It'd been logged out about 10 years ago, but the walnut, it's kind of grown back nicely, so there's nothing real big there. Same with the oak. There's nothing real big on the oak, but we'll go through. Probably take us two, two and a half days to cut it and make a hand of it, so that's uh glad to get that bought. It's bad, you know, uh, I, I try to plan my days accordingly, and this morning, my first appointment was down around Neosho, Missouri, and of course, people call me all the time. My phone rings off the hook, whether it's people calling about timber or just being inquisitive about, you know, how busy we are, what we're doing, what what's hot, what's selling, machines. And I, I always enjoy getting to talk to people. I don't even know where this road goes. We're just following the GPS here. But my first appointment today, and when they called last week, I told them, you know, it'd probably be at least a at least a week out. Yeah, of course, you know, no, no problem, no problem. Yeah, just call. Well, and luckily I, I did call before I got too far from Stockton to confirm everything. And, you know, they they totally kind of backed out and changed their mind about the whole the whole deal, which that's no big deal, you know. But it, like I said, I mean, it's always nice if people will call and kind of let you know that and be considerate. It's like this time of year, I, we always try to make the most of our days and plan accordingly. I've never really cut any timber right here in this country. I, I don't know if my dad has or not. I'll have to ask him. I seen him this morning. He was hauling some logs today. Of course, he had a funeral to go to, a good friend of my dad's. He, he passed away unexpectedly Friday. And it's kind of a, like I said, it's kind of a tragic deal there. Just um, had a heart attack, fell over and died. He was a good man. But, uh, like I said, yeah, Dad was going to go to that funeral today and haul some logs. And, of course, I, I had appointments to, to look at this timber. And so tomorrow, tomorrow, we're either going to go up north and cut a job up by Kansas City or we're going to do that Thursday. We, we haven't quite got that dialed in what we're doing yet. I'm either going to move a skitter and cut some oak. Oh, blah, I can't talk, guys. Can't talk. Either going to move a skitter and cut some oak timber tomorrow or we're going to get that skid steer up north and start cutting some walnut. Uh, this time of year, it's not hard to get behind. I, I told these these boys here, a couple young brothers at the farm, I, I told them we'd try to get them taken care of the first next week. We're going to bring that little 548D down here and put it to, put it to the test. Here's something you don't see much of anymore, an old iron bridge. This is the Spring River. Pretty good size little creek right here. I've always wanted to gig that in the wintertime and never have. I know a lot of people from back home do. Sometimes I like to just get out and drive around just to see the countryside. And that's that's one of the great things about logging here, just getting to kind of see new new areas, different places, meet a lot of interesting people. So I'm just kind of on the way home. I'm just taking the long way. I ain't got nothing else to do, so kill a little time. Look at the countryside. Guys, I appreciate all the calls and texts that uh, that I get from uh, the YouTube channel here and the Facebook page, the Instagram page, just whatever you want to call this stuff. All, all of our outlets. I, I really do. I, I appreciate all the calls. It's, it's great to talk to you guys. Uh, talking timber with you and uh, I enjoy you guys that call seeing what we do here and you inquire about having your timber harvested I, I enjoy that too that you see kind of how we conduct business and how we harvest timber and take care of things I I do appreciate that as well uh, it's, like I said uh, right now we are at the very beginning of our busy season and we are working seven days a week right now so we we are extremely busy I try to I try to get to everyone as quick as I can, as far as our clients and our customers. 
there's there's times where you know it might take us a couple weeks to get to you but i assure you we, we will get you taken care of weather always plays a factor i mean i never know of course who can predict what the weather is going to do you know i mean if it rains and gets wet it slows us down even more but we do work seven days a week this time of year just trying to trying to stay on track with everything so i apologize if like with a lot of the comments you know we were guys were talking here a while back i don't always get to every comment on the youtube channel as, as quick as i can i just try to post a video to keep you guys up to speed every day so a lot of times i'm, I'm not i'm not always able to get to all the comments because i've got a lot of other things going on aside from from youtube i mean it's like i said it's great to hear from you guys uh, like i said I'm, I'm extremely busy extremely extremely busy so that being said yeah had a phone call anyway that being said guys i i do appreciate it i appreciate all the all the business and interest you guys have for letting us look at look at your timber and harvest your timber so uh, keep the comments and everything coming i do appreciate it i greatly appreciate it thank you for the support of logger threads you know our clothing line it's a, it's a fun project. I started, I mean, I, I really do have a lot of fun with it. I've got some great people that, that make it all possible. I mean, I, it's, I'm just kind of, I don't know. I don't know if I'm just kind of the, the guy doing it or what. Like I said, I, there's a lot of, a lot of great people that make it all possible. So I'm going to get off here. I'm going to get uh, pointed back in the direction of home. It's kind of a short video today. Not a lot going on. Apologize for that. Not not every day can be a grand adventure. Although I wish it was, wish it was. So we'll have something for you tomorrow for sure. You know, I'd, I'd say we'll probably probably do blah. Some days I just can't talk. I'd say we'll probably be having a video about every day from here on out for a while. We might miss a day or two here and there for the most part. Like I said, our busy season is in full swing. We are just we're on the hunt for walnut right now as always, but we're really pushing hard for that. And trying to keep all of our clients taken care of that are that are calling us to get them in the books for their harvest. So guys, thanks a lot. Check us out at all of our outlets: Turner Logging and Instagram, Turner Logging and Facebook. Um, you know, Timber Tracker. Be sure to check out everything Timber Tracker's doing and Logger Threads, guys. Thanks so much. We will see you tomorrow. Thank you.